In the Hindu tradition, the Kundalini Shakti also emanates from the root chakra. Kundalini represents the energetic force that lays dormant within this energy center until this connecting conduit of energy between Mother Earth and the ethereal body reawakens when the cycle of higher consciousness returns to us. As mentioned earlier, the sacrum chakra is also connected to the same numbers as the root chakra on the ancient Egyptian number key. In the ancient Hindu texts, this energy center is known as the Swatishana chakra, which translates to one's own abode. On the symbol for this chakra, there is a lotus with six petals and a crescent moon. And just as we see the sun represented behind the moon on the tarot card, we also see this connection in the yellow disc behind the crescent on the symbol for this chakra. The connection to the moon and this chakra is also relayed on the tree of life in the number 9 Sephirot Yesod. This energy point at the sacrum is both connected to the solar plexus navel chakra and the root chakra. The emotional energy flow between the Ka of the soul located at the navel and the foundational instinctive attributes of the earth represented in the root chakra are expressed through the sacrum energy center. This is also where the ethereal union of the twin souls and the divine is represented. Within the bindu or dot above the mantra is the deity Vishnu. Vishnu is symbolic for Orion and God consciousness. So again we see a direct connection to the divine in the number 9 Sephirot Yesod. In Sufism, it is said the lower energetic forces within this chakra must be tamed before one can be closer to the divine. The sacrum represents the second gate, and this is where the soul must overcome base sexual desires which control the lower mind and physical body through the sacrum and the carnal earthly forces emanating at the root. John 1, 5 And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And Colossians 2, 23 Which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom in will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honour to the satisfying of the flesh. And finally, 1 John 4.4 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world.